Uh, we can see the casualty of the kite there on the cliff. We're just going to go in slowly, make an assessment, and we'll give you a shower in a second, over. It absolutely gobsmacked me. Having come from London, if someone was in trouble, this whole community of people just suddenly rocked up, dropped what they were doing, and you've got firefighters, medics, Coast Guard, lifeboat, Cornwall Search and Rescue. All these people just stopped what they were doing, go and help the rest of their community. And I was just like, it blew me away. One of the reasons we want to do this is to demonstrate that the police are the community. A police officer or a member of staff who takes their time, whether it's only an hour, to go and do something valuable in the community, it might make a massive difference to a child's life or an individual's life, whether it's volunteering with adolescents, whether it's mental health. The hard hours putting in the after school clubs and the, the, the commitment to the community is, is, is dramatic in itself. Yeah, I'm Martin Daughtery, helps an under 18s coach and help with the first team. I think Martin's a really good coach. Outside of football as well, he like supports you in everything you do, not just the football side. It's just seeing the lads develop, not only into really good footballers, but fine young men. If we can get our profile out in other ways other than just policing, I think it's good, not just for the police, but for the community. My particular role in the police is it keeps with you because of the cases I'm dealing with. Doing the beach cleaning as well, I feel like I am giving back at that point. Hashtag two minute beach clean and the whole ethos behind it is just when you're at the beach, just spend two minutes picking up the litter, the plastics, the ghost net that's on the beach. Two minutes out of your day is not a long time. You could spend that literally just picking up a little bit of rubbish, obviously taking home what you bring as well, and only leaving footprints where you've been on the beach. I volunteer for the RMI as a, as a, a lifeguard and I also help with the training of young lifeguards, lifeguards that are under 18. Seeing kids about seven, eight, nine, who are frightened to go into the water, and then having an interaction with over a number of years, and then when they get 16 years of age, they're professional lifeguards, saving people's lives on the beach, which is, which is brilliant. It helps, especially youngsters and vulnerable people. Um, the fact that you're a police officer and you're volunteering, it makes that community um, respect the police more. You get better relationships with the, with the community. Um, I volunteer uh, with a netball club called uh, Penryn. I volunteer just to give back really to uh, the community what I had growing up and it's always nice when you have a success story. One of them's with my under 16 team last year winning the Cornwall Netball League. They fought and it was a brilliant game. If it wasn't for the fact that you didn't have the volunteers then none of, none of it would actually go ahead. I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't have been doing it for the past 25 years. I'm not a hero. We're not heroes. It's when you walk away from jobs knowing lives have been saved. Police is the community. The community are the police.